back to my channel. It is Kara Lachey here. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are new, hey loves, I hope you subscribe down below and join the family. If you do not want to miss the content that we have coming for you. And if you have been here a while, thank you. We are on the journey to 300. <laughs> We're on the journey to 300 subscribers. <laughs> okay, so I know I've gotten the question a lot about um, a video I brought tutorial. So this video today is beginner friendly like nothing's gonna be sped through it's gonna be real time i'm really gonna be explaining myself i'm gonna go through everything you're gonna need for this video so if you're interested to know how i get my eyebrows slayed period let's get into the video okay so in this video today um and if you see me looking down there's a mirror right there and if you see me looking there <laughs> there's a mirror there too so for this video today you're gonna need something to do your eyebrows with um, I have a few of my favorites. We have the Anastasia Pomade um, in the color dark brown. I have the Benefit from Precisely My Brow Pencil. Um, it is in the color, their colors are in numbers. It's in the color 5. And it's just one you, you know, you can twist up. I really like this pencil. And as you can see, I got the mini because... I realized in the mini and the full size they give you the exact amount the same amount of product the only difference is that you have a spoolie don't need a spoolie um, also we have the NYX it's a gel It's also in the color dark brown well actually espresso and then we have the NYX pencil which is in the color espresso as well and you have the pencil and this one gives you a spoolie at the bottom um i will list these products down below with the prices they're all very affordable um i will say the benefit and the anastasia those are high-end brands so they're gonna be a little costly but for the most part they are affordable today i will be using my nyx pencil well actually i don't know i want to use a pencil but i don't know which one i'm gonna use i will probably use um I'll probably use my benefit pencil because I just got this so I haven't really used it but um it doesn't matter which one you use the steps that I do in the process it can be done with all of the products I just listed um and to achieve the product if and to achieve this look if you're using the pomade you're gonna need an angled um brush to do to fill in your brows um it's this is really a preference thing when it comes to concealing your brows if you don't want to conceal your brows and you want a natural don't have to worry about this step but if you do you can either use a flat brush concealer brush which is also sorry flat concealer brush which is also by Anastasia or you can use a rounded type of concealer brush and this specific one is the Morphe M421 brush and then so if you are going to use a pencil be sure never do your brows with a dull brow pencil get you a sharpener like 99 cents by essence it's going to be a fancy sharpener but do not do it with a dull pencil because you will not get the precise look that you're going to want um you're also going to need concealers like i said if you're not wanting to conceal your brows this isn't for you you can skip this step but for my girls who want to conceal i personally use la girl pro concealer they're amazing i love them they've never let me down period <clears throat> so um i usually so i have two the bottom two are lighter than my skin tone well let's do it like this we've got much lighter a tad lighter about the same so you're gonna want you don't have to have three but these are like my three that i always go to um i'm probably gonna be using these two the lighter one is gonna be for under your brow and the one that's about the same skin tone or you can use your foundation it's gonna be for above your brow and ladies, this is a must. I don't care if you're just doing your brows or you're just doing a little here, a little there. Be sure to wash your face before, you, before really before and after you, before you do your makeup and after you take it off. I'm big on skincare. I mean, my skin right now, it's looking okay. It could be looking much better. But please, be sure to wash your face and moisturize as well. Even though I'm oily, I still moisturize a little bit. So, those are what you're going to need to do. So let me zoom y'all in. Cause we're back into these brows. So I'm gonna go in with my spoolie and if your brows are kind of wild, if your brows are kind of wild, 
um, I would recommend cutting them. You would go in, you would brush your brows up like this, and any hairs that are just super extra on the top, you cut them. Just cut here and there, and you do the same with your other brow. Um, me, I actually just did my brows. And if you like to see a video on how I arch my brows, just comment down below and we can do a video about that too. I guess. And a thing. So first, go in with your pencil or your pomade. Either one. It doesn't matter. And I realized to get the best use out of your pencil, just roll it up a tad bit. You do not need to roll it up this much or all the way. Just roll it up a tad bit. That's all you need. So first we're going to go in, after we've already spoolied our brows, we're going to go in, start at the beginning of the brow, and you're going to outline the bottom. You see, I'm not just trying to go all at one time, I'm just going to take real short strokes, make your way at the end, to the end of the brow. That bottom line is really what makes, that's how you decide how long you want your brow. Just my hairs might, be, might stop here, but if I want it to continue, you can continue it. When it comes to drawing on your brows, that's, the, that's one of the big perks. You can decide how thick, skinny, long, short that you want your brows. So after you do that, I'm just going to touch up here a little bit. You're going to do the same to the top. But instead of starting here, you're going to start a tad bit, not necessarily in the middle, about a quarter of the way. Outline that brow, outline the top. And as you go, you might have to roll up your um, eyebrow brush or sharpen your pencil. Now, if your pencil gets dull in the middle, just stop and sharpen it. Take the time to stop and sharpen it because I promise you, you're not going to get the precise look that you're trying to achieve. So after you outline, go in and fill it in. So me, so just go in and fill it in. It doesn't matter where you start, I lied, it does matter. Don't start at the front. You can start here, in the middle, at the end. I, I personally start here and I make my way back. And honestly, you don't have to fill in your entire brow because just it's just filling in what needs to be filled in the obvious parts where there's not much hair just to make it blend in and if you feel like your brows looking a mess it's okay because when we conceal it sis you can be like oh i did that i'm like yes you did so continue to fill okay so once you've reached that work that starting point where we did our top top outline and go to the front and very lightly I mean very lightly do very light sharp short strokes now for those that use the pomade what you're gonna do is take the excess pomade off of your angled brush and do the same thing you just do not get any extra product just get the extra the residue pomade that's left on your angled brush and just do that a little bit in the front after you fill it in, just going to spoolie it. Front part, you want to really kind of focus on spooling upward. Make sure that harsh line at the bottom is not there. And then spoolie it outward. And so me personally, I'm not looking away, liking the way it looks, so I'm just going to go in and touch up a little bit. If you like your brow, spoolie away. You don't have to change anything. Like I said, a lot of this is truly a personal preference. It's all about how you like your brows to look some people might like their brows extra skinny <laughs> sis that's not me <laughs> we don't do extra skinny brows so i am actually i'm good with it so that is what it looks like compared to that side and i'm really be sure to focus on the harsh on the harshness here and if you're having a hard time spooling it out don't worry about it we're gonna fix it with the concealer so I'm gonna go in with my rounded concealer brush like I said you have a preference of rounded or flat either or 
preference. So I'm going in with the color that's somewhat but slightly lighter than my skin tone, LA Girl Pro in the color Chestnut. I first want to put it on the back of my hand so I can just dab a little here or there. <clears throat> okay, so when I start, I don't start in the front, well, in the very front. I start about quarters way, kind of about where you started that top line for your um, when you outlined your brow. And just like the same way we outlined our brows, we're not doing one, one quick line underneath. You're doing short strokes. Make sure it's very precise. There's no need to rush. Like the brows is honestly what brings an entire look together. So there's no point to rush when doing your brows. And I apologize. I keep coming at the camera. I have to turn this mirror upwards so I can see. So if you don't have a steady hand or you're not getting the hang of it yet practice takes perfect honestly I did not know how to do my brows overnight so after I get that tail and that middle I just come to the front and finish it out and which one do you want to drag it down so when you blend it you're not having to blend so close to that line where your brow is and I didn't add any product when I blended it down. I just used the excess product on the brush and the product that we did at first. <clears throat> so say you wanted your arch a little higher. All you gotta do is go with some concealer and arch it higher. It is okay to conceal over your hairs. I promise you, no one's gonna know. And if they do, so what? Your brows look better than theirs. That's how about that? So I forgot to say, you're gonna need a brush to go in and blend with. This is my Morphe brush, um, this M173. It's just a flat, dense brush. Works really well for blending, so I just bring that down. And I never blend upwards or in circular motions. I always blend down. Why? It keeps you away from that brow so that you don't mess it up. And two, say if you're doing a makeup look, you could bring that concealer down as an eyeshadow base, which of course you have to add some more, but that's the whole point. So we are halfway through. So if you're anything like me, I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm OCD when it comes to my makeup, but I kinda am. So I gotta clean, <laughs> I gotta clean my concealer brush. I'm about to go in with the color that's more like my skin color, a little bit closer to my foundation color a little bit. It's um, the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Espresso. I'm gonna do the same thing, put a little on the back of my hand. And we about to conceal the top of these eyebrows. Now the top of the eyebrows is really what matters. It, that's the when you outline it, that gives you the length. That helps you determine what length. But when you conceal it, that helps you determine the sharpness of it. So just take a little concealer on your hand. Like you did the well, I don't even have on your brush. Like it the first time and I like to have it more spread out on the brush than I did the first time and this time I do start right at the front and as you can see I'm not doing the short strokes like I was earlier I'm actually doing longer strokes because it helps you get a precise line right above that brow you might have to go in a few times with extra product due to the fact that you are dragging it so it is gonna run out a little quicker. And the tail is one of the most important parts of that eyebrow so you make sure you get it how you want it. Sometimes I gotta go back up to the front. you are a person that does their eyebrows after you do your foundation you can still do this only thing is it just might be a little harder to outline the top of your brow but I promise you you will be able 
to do this is the exact same look. I personally do my eyebrows before I do my makeup, which is probably why it takes so long. But yeah, so after that, you can blend it out. You just blend that out. And like I said, you never blend towards. You always blend away from your brow because I promise you, if you mess up your brow, your feelings going to be hurt because I know mine would. Real hurt. So, like I was saying about this harshness, I got mine away, got mine to be like I actually want it, but any excess makeup that you might have on your brush, just put that there. You probably can't see mine because I actually used all my product. And when you put it there, just fully it in, just like that. And I actually feel like the front of my eyebrow went away, <laughs> so I'm just about to touch up. Just a touch. That is my eyebrow routine. Honestly, um, there's really nothing to like. It's really simple and easy. It's really just about practicing your look, and that's really that's really the main thing is practicing. Practice makes perfect. And as you can see, the difference it makes a heck of a lot of a difference. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you would like to see how I do my brows personally by arching them, um, please comment down below. I am more welcome to options, and I will be recording most of y'all's options that you bring to the table. We're on the road to 300 subscribers, y'all. When we hit 300 subscribers, I will be having a getaway, but we have to get to 300 subscribers. Do not forget to share this video, and I will see you in my next one.